Many people are confused when it comes to hydration. And for a good reason, because even in the medical community we find many contradictory opinions. Most health authorities are recommending a minimum of 8, 8 ounce glasses of water a day, which would be roughly the equivalent of about 2 liters of water per day. The doctors from Harvard Medical School suggest 30 to 50 ounces of fluids a day, the equivalent of approximately 4 to 6 glasses of water, or about 1 to 1.5 liters a day, while the US Food and Nutrition Board recommends a daily total water intake of about 2.7 to 3.7 liters, or about 90 to 125 fluid ounces a day. Back in the 2000s, motivated by the skepticism from the medical community and uncertainty of the origin of the 8x8 rule, the editors from the American Journal of Physiology asked a specialist to do a thorough review of the scientific literature to ascertain if there is any scientific justification for drinking so much water. The person chosen was Dr. Heinz Waldem, kidney specialist, active emeritus professor of physiology and neurobiology at Geisel School of Medicine, Dartmouth College, New Hampshire, USA, author of three textbooks on kidneys and water balance and a researcher in the field for more than 40 years. Enlisting the assistance of Dartmouth's biomedical librarian Sheila Gorman, after 10 months of thorough survey of the scientific literature, Dr. Walton came up dry. I have found no scientific reports concluding that we all must drink at least eight glasses of water a day," wrote Dr. Walton in a paper published in 2002. He also debunked the popular myth presented in the press, on the International Bottled Water Association website, and even in some professional journals, that by the time you feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated, and he listed a series of disadvantages regarding high water intake. Possible exposure to pollutants from water, especially if sustained over many years. Frequent urination, which can be both inconvenient and embarrassing. Expense, for those who satisfy the 8x8 requirements with bottled water. And also feelings of guilt for not achieving the 8x8 theory. Not only is there no scientific evidence that we need to drink that much, but the recommendation could be harmful, both in precipitating potentially dangerous hyponatremia and exposure to pollutants, and also in making many people feel guilty for not drinking enough," wrote Dr. Walton in his study. Further annoying the 8x8 rule adherents, Dr. Walton brought evidence that juice, milk, caffeinated beverages, or beer, are all sources of water intake, and, amongst most adults, beer and caffeinated beverages make up half or slightly more than half of their daily fluid intake. Also, most fruits and vegetables have a water content of over 80%. For example, cherries and grapes contain 81% water. Apples and pears are 84% water. Cranberries, raspberries, oranges, pineapple, and carrots, 87% water. Strawberries, watermelon, eggplant, cauliflower, sweet peppers, cabbage, and spinach are about 92% water, while celery, cucumber, iceberg lettuce, radish, zucchini, and tomatoes contain over 92% water. Moreover, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, even cooked meat or fast food items contain a pretty high amount of water. For example, in a traditional American breakfast, there is almost 55% water in a serving of French toast prepared from recipe with low-fat 2% milk, over 53% water in blueberry pancakes, and almost 40% water in bagels. An egg omelet contains over 76% water. A side of hash brown potatoes has over 47% water. A side of pork sausage, linker patty, pan fried, has almost 50% water, and even cured pork bacon, broiled, pan fried, or roasted, has a water content of more than 12%. And, most people are enjoying a cup of tea or coffee, which is more than 99% water, or a glass of orange juice, which has a water content of over 88%. If we're adding the water from fruits, vegetables, and other solid foods, we probably are currently drinking enough, and possibly even more than enough," wrote Dr. Walton in his study, drink at least 8 glasses of water a day. Really? Is there scientific evidence for 8x8? 
As you already saw in the first episode of this series, the body's water content differs from individual to individual. An appropriate hydration and a person's normal water needs range widely with age, sex, metabolism, constitution, general health, environmental temperature, types of physical or intellectual activities performed, and many other factors. Thus, as Dr. Walton rightly pointed out, there's no such thing as a universal water intake recommendation, and people should drink what their bodies naturally thirst for.